Hello, y'all. Brett with Swafford Homestead. I've heard quite a bit in the last week or so about electroculture. That's the main thing about this I was going to talk about. I don't know how everybody else feels. I've looked it up. I actually researched it online. I did not research it necessarily through YouTube. I tried to use other ways other than YouTube. I wanted to actually see that there were some studies done on it. And I did find some writings about studies that people did. And I can't tell you exactly what it said. I'll let you read it for yourself. But there was no good conclusive evidence that electroculture makes a difference. And I didn't really see any study over the what we'd call the off-grid version. The sticking electrodes in the ground, sticking wire in the ground, how many windings they had, which way you wind it, which side, which direction you, you put it on the plant or none of that. Like I said, I didn't go to YouTube. YouTube's full of ideas. I'll leave that to your choice, what you think about them. But I'm gonna give you my opinion. I don't see that a lot of that stuff will make a big difference in a garden, especially small little antennas or wires or anything you stick in the ground. I think it has to have some size to it in order to even draw enough electricity to make a difference. There is electricity in the in there, I guess you can say. You can build static electricity. I made the joke to a couple of people. I said. You'd probably be better off finding you a piece of shag carpet, like this picture I'm going to show you. Putting on some wool socks and scooting your feet as you go down the aisle and touch your plants. You'd probably build more electricity than some of these things I've seen. Like I said, there is studies over it. Now, what I do here for my tomato plants, I, I can kind of see it might be a form of it. I can't tell you that it makes an improvement because I do this just strictly to hold them up. But my form of electroculture, the closest thing I got to it is this fence wire. It's galvanized, it's not copper. Galvanized is conductive. I think uh, if you're going to do electroculture, it don't have to be copper. Copper is a very fine conductor of electricity, but they several others. I thought about this. That's the reason I brought this up. I talked to my buddy that prepped for Eternity Homestead, and I told him, he said, you know, I've got a video I'm going to make about the way I do my tomatoes. I've, I'm going to put up several of these. This is a short one. Made about 21 plants, I think, in this. It's 20-something feet long. It's a little longer. I've got a little more than a foot between them. You can see the plants are 14, 16 inches in, in between them. This thing's not hardly 30 feet. But it's over 20 feet of galvanized wire. I think that would make a better antenna than putting, you know, a two or three or even four foot piece of whatever material in the ground. If there is electricity to be caught, I think this would do a good job. I don't use any kind of wire to wire my tomatoes to it, I let them touch it. I pull the tomato up against it, I tie it off with, I showed you my tomato ties in a video before, I use old shirts. I pull strings off the old shirts, I string them out. That's what you see still tied here, so. One's from last year. They're not good enough to use again, but they're still strong enough you gotta cut them off. And I just let them rot off. I didn't take time last year to cut them, and I'll work on it as these tomatoes grow. But I think, as far as electroculture, or electro gardening, or however you want to call it, goes, I believe this wire here would be a pretty good antenna. And the plants, as they grow up, will, of course, go against the wire. I will tie them. They will be touching the wire. So if there is magnetic electricity to be collected. This should catch some of that. There'll be four or five of these in the garden, probably five.
I think they're five got enough for five rolls of tomatoes. Gotta let it dry. It's rain lately. And I thought, you know, that's that'd be a pretty good deal. Tell them, you know, about touching it. It's electroculture. It's catching the magnetic or the static electricity in there. Maybe the wind ain't too bad. We're gonna try this anyway. The wind's cut me out. The dog's barking has cut me out. I've had something interrupt this several times. Uh, now for my theory. While we're talking about electric culture, and we're kind of out on a limb, I thought I'd just step out a little further. See if we can't just go all the way. My theory here, since we're talking about antenna and the galvanized wire being a good antenna, galvanized or the metal that's used to galvanize the metal, the materials, are also used in the battery. So you can use galvanized metal when you make a homemade battery, which I've done. Me, me and my son made them for his science project. I played, I played with electricity most of my life. All forms, low voltage, high voltage, you know. I've worked in factories, I've worked in houses, I've worked in a lot of places with electricity. But this being a conductor, my big antenna catching Catching the electricity there, the plant's acidic, somewhat, you know, we'll go there. I especially like an acidic tomato. I, I like the zing or the, the sting of a good acidic tomato. I thought, well, that it's connected to the galvanized. It's acidic, it's my acid, and the ground's got copper in it. Copper is an element, it's in the soil. If your soil don't have enough of it and you do a test, you can actually buy the copper fertilizer I forgot what the other half of the word is you know it's always copper like sulfate or copper something other I forget right now I thought you know I got my copper on one side I got my cavernized on the other and I've got my acidic in the middle could this be considered a battery could we call this a battery are we charging our tomato plants I don't know it's kind of like the rest of the electro culture. It's possible, I guess. <laughs> Tell me what you think. What do you think about electro culture? Is it a heaven sin or is it hogwash? Y'all have a good week. <laughs>